Good day to our viewers, especially to our learners who are watching from their respective homes across the country. I am Teacher Larry and you will be learning another exciting lesson in Science 8 for today. In our previous video, we've learned about the laws of motion. Can you enumerate what are those? The first law is... Correct! Law of Inertia, which states that a body will remain at rest or move at constant velocity unless acted upon by an external net or an balance force. Right. And what about the second law? Wonderful! That's the law of acceleration, which states that the acceleration of an object is directly proportional to the magnitude of the net force acting on it and is inversely proportional to its mass. What about the third law? Perfect! Law of interaction, which simply states that for every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Wow! You seem to be so much acquainted with the lesson. And today, after this video, you are expected to identify and explain the factors that affect potential and kinetic energy. The word energy is used very often in our daily life. In science, there are many forms of energy. However, this video lesson shall only focus on the potential energy and kinetic energy. Energy is the ability or capacity to do work. Consider an object lifted to a certain height using a rope, elevated the object from the ground. A hammer struck a nail that was placed on a piece of wood. In all of these situations, forces acting on the objects are doing work. Therefore, an object requires energy to do work. Try to figure this out. Two objects, A and B, are about to interact with each other. When object A is pushed, an applied force is doing work on it. Object A possesses kinetic energy while moving towards the stationary object B. In this situation, object A loses energy while object B gains energy. When this happens, energy is transferred from object A to object B. This indicates that any object that has energy can do work. Now, let us familiarize some words that are associated with the concept of energy. Write your answer on a piece of paper and answer will be revealed after. Number one, the product of force and displacement is Number two, blank is the unit of energy in the SI system. Number three, blank, energy is stored due to the object's position. Number four, the ability to do work is blank. And number five, blank, energy is associated with motion. Now let us try to check your answers. For number one, the product of force and displacement is work. Correct. Number two, blank is the unit of energy in the SI system. The answer should be Joel. Number three, potential energy is stored 
due to object's position. Number four, the ability to do work is energy. And number five, kinetic energy is associated with motion. Congratulations. Good job.